And this is second floor. And then we'd have this walled off. thought to finish this up. This is cool. I really like this this room. I don't know if we want to maybe we want to have like a back door maybe. It's a hell of a first drop. Ah, uh, stream has kicked out. New stream VOD. That's a pain in the butt. Uh, thank you very much, Cosmic. Uh, if anybody else is hearing this, then thanks for sticking around. Mosaic Dream, hi. Sorry I didn't see you come in. Let me just see what's going on with stream behind the scenes here. I don't know what's going on with the internet lately. I've really had some odd issues. Yes, new session is only two minutes long. It's back now. Cool. Thanks. Appreciate it. Um, that's annoying. I'm going to go to my VODs and just like label that, I guess. Yep. So we'll go with, um, Twitch dropped midstream. Thanks for the heads up, folks. Appreciate it. Okay, that's done. I mean, I feel like we need to have some railings here. Just so that I don't have a heart attack whenever I come out here, right? See, they give us these in half walls. Can't we have everything in half walls? Paint all of that. And really, we could probably... I don't know whether to keep this as yellow, maybe make it orange. Mm. 
we'll leave it like that. I think one of the things that I don't do is I make these things look like transformers, but then I don't make them look like factories all the time. But I like this. We've got access to this back here if we need. Uh, now the only thing left to do is hook up these extra computers up to this. And I also need to hook up the belt on the inside here. So this goes to nowhere currently. Just a matter of sliming this to next. And I would say I put the wrong lift. Yep. And now all we have to do is hook up these computers. Now I don't think Hmm. Problem, of course, is that we've got this right overhead, so we can't go up. And I want that to be solid. So really, all we, all we have to do is add a merger up here and get this up to it. I'm just trying to think about where the best place to do it. And if I bring this too much forward, then we're going to run into the door. I could move the door so that the door is here. And then we could use this space. And then this could be clear. Yeah. If that works. Uh, I guess I'll just do two mergers. Or... Yeah. So that worked. That unfortunately sticks out past the wall. I was hoping to contain it. could probably nudge that. I think this is going to show up on the other side. Do we care about that? It's not the best looking. Hmm. I could probably nudge this in and use belts. And then I guess we'll just use regular. Should just go up there and connect. I'd say yes. And then if we need to, oh, is that gonna be close? Yep. 
Yeah, I'm just thinking about mirroring the other side, so there's no window there. Yeah, it might be cool to have that solid. And then I'm not sure. Maybe we don't need we don't need all of the space. I could even move this door up farther if I wanted to get rid of this one. What did we do on the other side? From the stairwell, I don't know how what we did. Would rather look at a transformer than a factory. That's fair. So stairwell, one, two, three, and then there's the door. It does keep going though. So where does one, two, three get us? Right. And then this has got three windows here. And it ends. So. One, two, three. And there's no windows. I'm not going to leave those no windows. That seems kind of silly. So the back is just going to have a different look. I think that's fine. I, th I think I want to keep this because it keeps the stairwell nice and bright. But I think we'll do that. I think we'll just leave it like that. Now the window, of course, we want to add some pieces. Mimic the other side. And I also had a window in the stairwell too. Oh, I just need to power this in a nice way. It's kind of running through the wall right now. We'll just bring it straight out here. That's in line. Can't tell, and the slidey, slidey thing is driving me nuts. No, let's go. That's better. Pretty slick if you ask me. I may even want to just tighten that up a little bit more.
Now, I had not decided what I'm going to do with the end of this yet. I'm still on the fence. Let me clip the part where you said I don't need all the space. We could also have some other storage and stuff in here if we needed to. That could be kind of fun. Now, I did have um, beams underneath these things. I don't know if I want to do that here. I don't know if we could. Because it bends, right? It might look a little bit weird. I guess we could, for looks, add in like a ceiling thing. Is that straight? Yeah, it's straight. From here, it looks crooked. We could try to do a ceiling mount and have it like line up. Helps a little bit. Better than nothing. Okay. So that tidies up all of this, which is great. I think it looks pretty slick inside. I think windows are done. So it, it doesn't have any lighting. That's the other thing we still need to work on. I'm also thinking that maybe... Oh no, that line's up there, doesn't it? This feels strange, this kind of vertices connection. So I'm kind of wondering whether I should have no window there. Also feels strange. Maybe we could have a piece there. Although that does look that looks even weirder. I imagine the roof part is gonna be the same. No, oh, no, it's gonna dip. Now that's that's annoying. That looks funny too. Oh, we could do this. Keep with the same design themes. This goes right to the floor, but it's a different height. Because this needs to be solid, because there's only three of those. One, two, three, yeah. So it doesn't make sense for another window. So convincing. The oh no, here they come felt like sarcasm. Now that looks like a very dangerous situation, so maybe we won't we won't do that.
Don't know about that. Uh, but yes, it is indeed time for break. And I have ceiling access to a train station. Add some stuff to the train. Cool. Once again, folks, I take a break about once an hour. Just gives me a chance to make some more coffee. I will be back in five or six minutes.
So at nighttime, we'll get a good look at how this thing is lit up. And I do have to do something with the back because I realize that we can see the back from over here. I don't want to leave it completely boring and plain. It's very functional and cool looking inside, but it's not the best. I wonder if the back windows could be made black instead to kind of match the front. That could be cool. Thank you, Cosmic. So now I want to, I guess, move some of this and send this in a different direction because I don't like these wires cutting in through here. I'm wondering if we could build this out a little differently this way. this here. Why they don't make these things easy to center, I will never know. Uh, I guess that actually has to go the other way, doesn't it? So, I could turn this one also. Remember what this is connected to. That tower, this tower, and then these two buildings. So, we got Power to there, power to there, power all the way to there, and then power over to here. And then I'll connect this guy to you. And that cleans up everything that's kind of messing around in front of... Um, Sunstreaker here. Yeah, it feels a little bit better. This is still not great. I feel like we could probably put that in a better spot too. Uh, although this is also floating, so I need to remedy this. are always tricky. That's all done. Uh, I guess I'll move this one actually. I could probably just have this be a little bit lower. Must be an animal down there or something. Ah! You're in the way. Get rid of this. Hello? Chainsaw time!
Thank you, Cosmic. Thank you, Dan. Whoa. Let's not go over the edge. They need an indicator on the bottom of these on which way they are facing. set up. We need those anymore. Clean that up, and then down here, I can probably add a little bit underneath. Outside, feel like I was using the regular concrete carbon steel. It's mostly because of how it looks like from the side. Kind of dark and inconspicuous. Cool. Uh, we may want to continue the railing. <laughs> Just because. I think it got a lot done. Uh, I thought I had put a pattern down there. Maybe I didn't. So I think the last thing inside is the lighting and 
uh, sorting this out here. And that's going to be a little trickier. So mainly it's the view from right here. I wanted to clean this up. I don't mind this belt doing a little zigzag. If this belt on the other side could do something very similar. So we just need to change the way that these things are coming out. And I think the easiest way to do this is probably going to be just to move this to like this lane here it's just it's not going to look as cool Smart splitter. I guess I have to change. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to do this a couple times. So that'll snap to the right position, but it'll be the wrong direction. So I delete that, and then I put in the smart splitter here. Reconnect this. Get rid of this. Get rid of that. And so then this. So this is, is this still connected? Oh yeah, sweet, okay, that's still working. Um, so then I should be able to then do another one of these guys, hopefully. seemed to work before when I was using another splitter. So that actually lines up with the lane. Oh, no, it doesn't. Should have done that the other way around. What I should be doing is lining these up here. Oh, that bypassed it. That's what was going on. Wait a minute, I've got programmable splitters. Could I just put them, could I combine them? I could combine them. No, it would take up too much room, I think. right way yes so that should line up here and then this can go to that and this can go to the back of that
And so what we should see... Is circuit boards... Oh, I have to program the splitter. First and foremost. Uh, comes out the back. We want... Overflow. And then we want circuit boards... Circuit boards. So split the circuit boards and send the overflow straight ahead. Splitting is currently working. And then I just need to do the same thing over here. Except for it's going to be this one. And the back connection is going to have to weave a little bit. So, right, I have to do this another way. This way, this can just fall straight down. It's still mostly hidden from view. Yeah. Not crazy about that. Maybe we can fix that. That looks a lot better and it also tightens things up from this view too. And I guess we're backed up on cable for a weird reason. be just splitting it evenly. Oh, it's because we had this one turned off for a while, I think. And it'll eventually balance out. Or I guess what I could do is just empty the the do that it's just to keep it moving there we go so we're not going to have anything overflowing until these guys fill up and the cable should never uh overflow because the cable is um cables exactly what we need there's no extra cable so I guess we just leave that the way that it is. I don't think we really need to box it in or anything like that. I don't feel like that's a, a thing that has to happen. The only thing I was thinking of is that we could do, now that we have everything on lanes, we could easily make like a wall or something, but then that's just gonna stick out. So I think we're good. 
It's weird how this gave me like the double, the long accordion bits. I wish these were smaller. Be nicer. Okay, so now I want to just go back outside a little bit. I'm wondering if this part could be black, like the part of the front. What shape did I use? Just two of those. That's really simple, okay. Thanks, Cosmic. go out all the way. Probably save ourselves some time in design by just going with half. Let's go to here. And I don't know, it might be worth it to make this the same. I just have to do like an upside down ramp. like the dark garbage chute. I like it. And going with those deep, deep colors is really cool. This feels unsupported. I guess it's okay. Not the end of the world. I could just take it right to the edge. That might help. That 
that's better. Simpler solution than messing around with beams, that's for sure. I feel like that kind of matches what we have out front. And then we also did some cool stuff with underside here. It doesn't happen over here because the earth is too tall. But it's one, two, three, and then we went down the other way. Three. There's a bunch of stuff that I have to mirror, but I don't think I'm going to do it on stream just because it's, it's kind of monotonous. One, two, three. So we've got one more down here. Almost not worth doing. Although that lines up here. Then at least we can put a pattern over here. to go in by one. I feel like wider better. And unfortunately we're gonna have to remove these and replace them with smaller ones. Back to concrete. Just feels a little bit more like a finished thought. And I sort of want to add that light over here. Don't think I can get rid of that because that's going to be open space. Just like little touches from a distance that might make things look a little bit more, I guess, together. I don't think we had anything detailed up here. Oh, there's like a window thing. One, two, three, four. Should be easy enough. I 
think it slants that direction to the outside, right? Yep. So inside that helps a little bit with some light. Because we did cover things up. Right? So the skylight that we removed, that helps with that. I love that we've got access here. That's kind of fun. It's a little steep, but... That's cool. Now, as far as inside goes, this is just like the special skylight thing out front. It's a lot of space, but we just, we need it downstairs, right? Because that's where all of our storage is, is underneath here. I really am the person that will go halfway across the build to pick a block or pick a, a an item, a buildable, before I will actually use the inventory. Yeah, the inventory is not great. I I could use some time spending, uh, some time setting up some hop bars and stuff. I've got some, but not enough. So I guess because we are now syncing computers, there's no overflow for plastic and stuff. If that makes sense. So we're not going to see overflow here because computers are never going to back up. Because currently we don't have the computers being sent to the bin up here. So the system is in place, but we're never going to see it because there's no overflow for these because the overflow is capped on computers. Well, I didn't think about that, did I? All right, lighting. Uh, we'll have to wait until nighttime, I think, for lighting. So what else do I need that's missing? Have I missed any details up here? That all looks good. Oh, we've got the back side of this has to be tweaked. that piece and then this piece here do I even like this I don't know if I like this that's just a paint it's not like even like a detail Not crazy about the orange ledge either. Maybe that should be carbon. Removes a lot of color from the build though. Where the continuous look. We could remove a lot of this. What if... Hmm. Let me just bring up Sunstreaker for a second. What could we do? For windows. I guess the Lamborghini windows. Anything that I add those like angular shapes to it would be good. Yeah. And maybe some lights. So 
So I'm thinking like something coming up. Can have this connect over here maybe. I guess I could maybe have it go to here. Or maybe it just goes straight across. That's just empty. that's just empty then we could probably just change change those I don't think they can be empty on the front though so this is fine but the other side I want to say has got um, smelters behind it so we can't fill it in Yeah, I like the look of this in the rooms. So we have to leave those the way that they are, but that doesn't mean we can't change the bottom part. Saw your orange ledge and you wanted me to paint it pink? <laughs> I'm shocked. That's right, we can still put these guys in here. Have this just be something that comes across. I didn't do the lights on the back, did I? Did not. I did not, I did not. I wish you could eye drop the colors, that would be nice. I still like that look. Uh, obviously that's not going to be that color. So yeah, we should probably remove these. That's better though. Uh, except maybe we can go with the, the normal patterns that we use. Have usually a like a a blunt end instead of a point. Oh, that's the wrong spot. Yeah, 
I don't know. I just, I like this so much. I kind of wanted to do more of it down here. That probably looks kind of silly from the front. Yeah. I feel like there definitely needs to be something over here. Very dark. Maybe some sort of vertical lights along here would be good. I'd say maybe even with the top of the, um, top of the windows. I just don't know whether to make those blue or orange. He does have some red lights on him. Yeah, the, the contrast between the black and the yellow is really good. What I need to think about more t as well is like, and something we can't do in Satisfactory very well because it's not part of the engine is like lighting things from below. You have to use signs and you have to use lumen because you can't actually point one of the lights up far enough. Like, I think you have to do something like a foundation. Right? They have to do like a foundation. And then one of these leaning walls. And then you grab your light and hope you can get it Like, it's just, it's still not really going to light up, you know? It's going to shine about there. I don't know if I have any power nearby. I mean, it just barely touches the bottom of that. Which is cool. But, like, we'd have to set up stuff down here to do it. And I don't know of a way to get that even flatter because I think they only... I can't... I don't think you can put them on beams. As far as I know. So like if I wanted to grab a beam. Yeah, see like it, it goes to the flat part. It doesn't go on it like you'd want it to.
still goes on it like it's a wall. And you can't get walls flat as far as I know. I guess you could maybe... Hold on. If I take a beam, get it to there, stick a foundation or a pillar... Yeah, so those still snap flat. But I can snap a wall. Yeah, it's still vertical. Yeah, so they, they snap wrong. And they don't snap to the end. So you can change the angle of the pillar, but it doesn't change the angle of the, angle of the light. That's something I really wish they would change. But I think it's because lighting like that in Satisfactory, it's not real lighting. It's like a fake fake lighting, and it only works from the top down. It doesn't work from the bottom up. I, they explained it once in one of their dev, one of their dev meetings. I do like this little hint of red. I wonder if there's any other place I can put that stuff in. That seems brighter than it does upstairs. Hmm. Weird. Guess it just depends on how you look at it. So as it gets a little bit dimmer here, I'm thinking we need lights in here. And my best guess is going to be something like this. And then we just have to figure out how to power it. This one will be easy because there's going to be power in the wall already. But even that only shines like right down on the machine. So we'd want to go even higher with it. And because that's connected, I should be able to flip the switch and turn that orange. Yeah. I mean, ignore the wire. That sort of looks cool. And we'll see in a minute whether it illuminates things correctly. Do the same thing over here. Don't remember how far I clicked that up. One, two, three. Maybe four. And this would just be a matter of getting it from behind here. Oh, that's the outside. Never mind. That's the issue with the lights is, of course, you've got to power them somehow. Well, we're already going up into the ceiling. Claptrap is taking a nap after accidentally walking into the baseball bat I was holding several times. The sun's getting real, no, real low break time when you're finished with the lights. Yes. Thank you, Cosmic. Appreciate it. So we could put um, a node in here. And sneak out. I guess that way. For now, we'll just...
We may want to actually put like a separate, a separate um, light controller on those. That's cool though. And I think I have them at different angles. I wish they gave you some sort of visual indicator indicator. Yeah, that the other one's up higher. I think I did four clicks instead of three. I like it though. I mean obviously when the sun goes down, the sunset red turns on. <laughs> Like a light switch. But we don't need much more than that. I think that's pretty good. Why are you yellow? Not enough plastic. That's odd. I think maybe I've got the wrong belt speed somewhere. Yes. I'll have to run through the throughputs and make sure everything is on the, the up and up after my break. But I think I'm just going to change the angle on this light. Yeah, so you can see where it's going when it's 100% brightness. I don't know why they default to 100% brightness and white when they are hooked up to a proper, you know, light color system. But I think that's good. There's just enough light bouncing off the edges here. It illuminates this. It looks like a factory at night, I think. The next thing is to make sure that there's lights behind there. Yeah, so now I just have to wire them and have them not look like they're wired, which is a real pain. So that's cool. And... Can I go down here? Yeah, the only thing we have for lights are ceiling lights. I don't want this is sort of like an outside area anyway because obviously it's open to the sky I think what I need is just one more of these so I've got it between the machines here and between the machines here and I think that all I need is just one more in the middle Check the difference there. Isn't that wild? I might want to change the angles on those other ones, which you can't do unless... Yeah, you can see a little bit more details in the roofing there. And I think I prefer the shiny. Very cool. Alright. Break time to, to stick with these nighttime breaks. Seems to work out quite well. I know what I need to do. And the train is nowhere to be found. So we'll build another one. Boop. Cool, folks, I take a break about once an hour. Even though the stream VOD got broken up into two parts, I'm going to stick to it, so I'll be back in about five or seven minutes.
Oop. Nope. Great to turn off self-driving. So now, I think the only thing left to do is just sort out the lighting. Oh, is the lighting going through there? That's annoying. Oh, it's sticking out of the roof. Ah, uh, that's why. Okay, so maybe we won't do that. That's probably why they were angled the way that they were angled. I'll try one more time. See what we can do. Back door was a good idea. Except for I need to go upstairs. Yeah, let's try that again. Maybe just one tick? Let's see if that sticks out the roof on the other side. I feel like... No, that would be in the way. Yeah, it still sticks out the roof. Are they all beaming out of the roof? They are all beaming out of the roof a little bit, aren't they? Huh. I don't know why the third one isn't doing that. Weird. The Nookie! Thanks very much for the sub! 15 months, currently on a 5 month streak. Make sure you connect your Discord and your Twitch. Join us in the Joel Duggan Discord and make sure you redeem your 3 months free of uh, Discord Nitro, which is a Twitch promotion that's on right now. I can just put them lower. Maybe that's a good idea. Hold on. One, two. Does that still stick out? Yes, that's annoying. Why is it going through the wall? I guess I wasn't noticing it before because it was just so dim. Doesn't look like there's anything we can do about it, which is annoying. So maybe we can put some lights out here to make it look like it's happening out here on purpose. It's probably the better way to do it. Uh, we have face cam for satisfactory. I've got face cam for both streams. I just haven't streamed Minecraft in a long time. Yeah, no, the face cam is... It's the cam that I got for, um, for Spawn Chunks, but I decided to... Um, I decided to do it like I move it each week why are you not letting me do the thing
at least the lighting is sort of even now. I just have to change the materials back. And I think we need to change. We'll get rid of this. I guess we could make these windows. Make sure it's all the right color. All right, so how does that look inside now? Yeah, I think that's good. Weird little bit of yellow showing up there, but I think that's outside. So there's nothing we can really do about that. Uh, unless I wanted to put in a fake wall. And I think I want to do that. That looks cool. It's the yellow. It's a neat trick. This is very empty. We'll have to design that maybe from the outside. There's nothing in here. Just a cool view of the back of the um, billboard sign. I feel like we're probably going to do that all the way around. Um, is the nitro only for subs purchased during the promotion? So mine, for instance, a recurring resub would not be eligible. Um, Cosmic, if you do bang nitro in chat, there's a link to details. I, th it worked for Sandy's gift sub the other day. So it wasn't even Sandy's sub, it was Sandy's gift sub and Sandy confirmed that it was working for them. Big head face, hello, hello, welcome in. So that's not going to work. And this is right. So we have to cover that up. Uh, easiest way to do that is just going to be with some upside down stuff. So we'll do um I guess we have to do four. Just do a ramp. And then down here we'll have to do that thing inside where we do um, singles. And then we do concrete on top of that.
Now here we have an opportunity to do a little bit of a design. I could do a different we've got a couple of different um, things we could do we can maybe try one of these would be cool oh no that's the wrong one this probably won't work no Okay, so that's all like that. That's all good. Uh, feel like... Just do this. Now we've got this yellow coming in, and I'm wondering if there's another way... Oh right, I've also got these lights that are kind of peeking through. Where are the light sources? They are on each in between. So I'm wondering if it would be worth it to put like little, maybe not the big ones, but maybe just like a little, about there. can't copy that anyway. That. Oops. Kind of makes sense. Even when we got that glitch, it kind of looks like it's coming from those, maybe? Not really, but... I think that tracks. This, I think, maybe we will... Hmm. I think that looked better inside. Very plain, but I don't mind it. I think maybe the only thing we need is we could potentially use a little depth. Don't think this will block the. Mm. It's not too bad. Nope, that's not at all good. Very bad. Dislike. Eh, whatever. It's the business end. It's allowed to be plain. So this I find very plain, but I don't know what I could do to fix it. And I guess the other thing I gotta do is uh, wire these lights while we can see what we're doing. And the best way to do that is probably gonna be through here. So I'll bring this guy down. Oh, 
switch my main standard back. Sometimes this game, I wonder how good it is for streaming because how close you have to get to stuff. Edge sword here. And I guess we'll just go for this connects there. So I'll just try to go for as close to this as I can. That probably means going a little bit higher. It's actually not bad. that it grabs the double when you don't want it. Fortunately, that's the best we can do. Unless I put a beam across here. could hide most of it. I'm alright with that. I might even be able to nudge this a little bit. Aha! Mostly hidden. Now we can probably just get through the other side the same way. Just gotta get access in here. Oh, can't slide underneath that. Now this doesn't have an outside, so we should be able to do this almost as easily. What's that? That is... Oh. That doesn't matter anymore. Sweet. It 
same thing. I'll just grab this and bring it down. I keep on hitting the wrong hotkeys today. So the reason we are doing this is because it's all hooked up to the same um, to the same color switch, and I believe that that is. Leave the one right underneath here is my power main power. I should put another sign there. One, three foundations in. Yeah, that's totally what that is. I was, I was looking at that stuff in the ceiling in the control room or in the control area here. I was like, what is going on here? But this is where the power comes in. So what I want to do is just throw one of these little guys on the ceiling. Oh, come on. So many options. Just I just want to place the sign. Thank you. No, not sideways. I don't know why it does this. A note for future Joel. Exactly. Putting that door there was a great idea. Now these are all on there and I can unhook that and then why does it have zero? It should have four. I'm going to flash the switch just to make sure. I think that's all we need for light out here. We have lights down here. I decided to do blue ones over here. I don't know if I still like that. I'm kind of thinking we should do orange. The only thing blue on the build are the little, like, track lights outside. this yeah I think that works out better cool contrast with the with the reflection of the orange light in the blue floor I think that's just about everything I've been a little inconsistent with um, these red bits and stuff too. That's not going to happen. And that is up in the ceiling. I'm 
So I think at night the only thing that's really dark is along here. We've got some spots that feel a little, a little strange. That's it. And even then, I would probably just put, like, lights. Probably something like, not a billboard. Just do a beam and get lights in front of every smelter. I'd imagine the easiest thing to do would be to center them on this. Even that seems a little small. Nope. So much easier if we could just actually snap um beams to walls the same way they can snap beams to foundations. Now I think I should have this paint copied. Yes. This is also a lot easier with the hover pack. Sort of. Excellent. I did not realize the back of the lights was showing through the beam. They at different depths? They are at different depths. I think I connected one of the beam. Good. Nice. Okay. Now why are these things stuttering? It shouldn't be. They are making precisely what needs to be made. I don't know why the cable's backing up. Because we're not making extra. Maybe it's just a long backup from earlier? Previous backlog was just happening. 
I guess we could hook up the cable to to overflow to avoid that happening in the future. All we would need to, I mean it would make this wouldn't look very pretty if we did that. I'm not even sure where we would do it. That would be the only output that we would have. Center lane. But that looks so cool, I don't want to mess with it. If I did anything, I would probably take it underground and run it into um, into here. Do a floor hole. Can you have houseplants in this game? Uh, no, there's nothing like that. There's there's mods. People mod the game and, and add all kinds of decorative stuff like that. You were a floor hole. <laughs> nice. So that should have smoothed all this out. Oh, I needed to check my belts, didn't I? Uh, we have 180 plastic coming in. And... Only where is so this is all going into the what should we call it the assemblers and each of these is taking thirty thirty and thirty so that's a ninety. So that leaves another 90, which means that this belt is too slow. So that's 90 going 45 and 45. And then the other five should come out there. Or other 10, I guess I should say. And so all these are fine. And then it's the same thing with the circuit boards. The circuit boards are being produced at 7.5. But all of these should be just Mark 1s and that should be fine. Because there's, there's only 15, 20, whatever it is. They're all the same. So yeah, I'm making 22.5. And we only need 20 total. So that was probably also backing the system up. The Wormbo, a construction project low in orbit at the upper end of the space elevator. Um, all the fix it mandated necessarily coziness exists in the hub. <laughs> fair. That's fair. I can get rid of that. Uh, that's a weird ceiling pattern. I don't know why this isn't all black. I guess I could make it all black. The ceiling, I think, below us is also blue. Yeah, I guess I could just make this the right color, couldn't I? So it's lacking a little bit of details in terms of like little things, but I think the broad strokes are done. I'm gonna take a fly around outside and make sure I haven't missed anything.
Still feels very plain on the front. Nothing is jumping out at me. These lights help on the back. This feels weird. I don't exactly know how to reconcile it. Because I really like these... These angled pieces here, I really like them. I guess I could always make them lower. I just wanted it to look kind of like a scoop for the train. Actually, we should make this blue. I only made it yellow because I wanted to mark the center so I could easily see what was going on. And we could also add Patterns. I imagine the, the big caution pattern would be good. Oh, those are in the wrong spot. I feel like when the train is there, it would look weird. So we are still sometimes thinking about bringing up computers into here somehow. Although if we did that, we would more than likely run it up on this side. Because this is where all of our storage is. So our computers are currently in there. And so to get them up to the train, we would probably add some cool outside thing happening here it might be worth it to, to even do like a oh i haven't hooked these up at all whoops glad i saw that we do not have the things uh this is doing computers but it's not doing computers See, now, I don't know why we're not seeing more circuit boards travel through this line, right? Because the circuit boards are backed up now. So something is not happening, right? Like, this is stopped. Does this need to be connected by a belt, maybe? This isn't working. Dunaraf, hello. How's it going? I can't see what this is trying to connect to. It looks like it's supposed to be there. Gave me the chime. It's not working. Could 
have sworn I saw some happen earlier. This one's working. Yeah, it's somehow not connected. It's on center overflow, it won't send things unless things are both sides are full. Oh, I guess that's fair. But like this is full. Alright, maybe now it's full. I guess it's only just just getting by, right? I guess I could No, that's full. What I could do is jack this with some extra see if that's gonna work I think it might be just squeaking by like it's just moving fast enough not to come down here but me feeling the belt like that should should force it right I also this doesn't is not a real thing they advertise in the game I feel like that's a a glitch I'm kind of exploiting a little bit This one's working. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, so it's just it's just it's just on the cusp. It's just on the cusp of of not being enough. How do you do it that short? Uh it's tricky. Usually you need to have um doesn't have to be a smart splitter, but it has to be So this is like the second height, right? And then you just grab um one of these guys. Connect to there first. And then aim at this. And if you get the chime, it'll work. That little chirp. So the advice I got when I was watching the YouTube video was to blueprint a bunch of these. One facing left, one facing right, one facing back. Uh, and do it for like both circumstances so you end up with like six blueprints and then you can just use it at will like however you want so um, I just I've only I was only using one or two of them so I was like I don't need a blueprint it right now but cool well I'm happy with that I think that looks pretty good uh, I'm gonna pass you all along to somebody else playing satisfactory let me just see who is live right now I think I saw that total eclipse was still doing their thing uh total clips is indeed still live that's who we're gonna raid so um enjoy the rest of your friday folks thanks ever so much for all the support i really appreciate the stream stickers uh cosmic thanks for moderating today sandy thanks for moderating today as well i know that you probably had to go uh, but i really appreciate it, the support i'll be back again tomorrow at one o'clock atlantic utc minus three hours at least for the next couple of weeks till the time change here in north america Check out things like the Spawn Chunks podcast and the Citadel Cafe podcast, where if you listen to your favorite shows, we're on YouTube as well. You can also follow me on social media at Joel Duggan and check out Patreon. It's one of the best ways to support me and your other favorite creators. It's only $2 a month. Uh, it gets you access to the Discord, less than a cup of coffee, and you get to keep me streaming. So if you enjoy the satisfactory content and you want to help me make more, then consider that. I would really appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to pass you along to Total Eclipse. I do have to raid and run, but I will see you all tomorrow. Have a fantastic rest of your Friday. Bye for now.